All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am with Mr. Tom Dwan. Tom, the last time I talked to you was a very short interview. Your phone was on 4%. We were going to talk about your uh, sponsorship with ACR. Uh, We did dive a little bit into the more controversial stuff, which is actually what we're going to get into (laughs) today. Uh, So thanks for taking the time, man. Yeah, no problem. Um, Yeah, I was was just saying for a second, and then I guess you said it wasn't recorded yet, but uh, this morning my time like a few hours ago i think we were texting or something i saw the tweets and i think it was fucking jmo trying to say that you were giving a softball interview and like as far as i know you're my only interactions were me giving you shit around the robbie stuff and then us texting some and like like if anything i I don't think you would be a very biased on my side kind of person i think you were like trying to ask me reasonable questions and being like yeah but i know your phone's on all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was trying to squeeze in a lot with a little time because we knew the clock was ticking. And then also, like I said, the preface for that last interview was the sponsorship. It wasn't I didn't reach out to you and say, hey, can we talk about this other stuff? Uh, it just kind of came up. Um, but that is the purpose of this interview. Um, so let me ask well, you. I think go ahead. Go ahead. Just uh, just one more point on that before we start. Is I think that like a lot of especially like talking head type people in the poker room like i just said something to like people larp about having integrity and sort of actually trying not to have it right they want to pretend they do or whatever and a lot of people go for gotcha type stuff in my opinion right and i actually the one time i gave you shit publicly was i thought it was stuff like that and then we talked and i realized like okay i don't think that was your intention maybe that's how I, how i read it or whatever in that moment but i don't think and so like when when you and I chatted, I didn't feel like your intention was to catch me off guard. It was like I didn't I definitely didn't feel like you're you're coming in planning to be softball or whatever. It's just like I think you're trying to be reasonable and, you know, ask whatever kind of thing. Right. Well, I appreciate it. And, you know, I do try to be unbiased and reasonable. Um, that said, you know, I do want to ask a few kind of hardball questions on this one. Go for it. Um, so let me just start. Peter Jetton says you owe him two hundred twenty six thousand dollars. Do you? So I backfeed her for a long time, right? I actually only had half the backing deal, right? And the my opinion is he's trying to paint a specific story, right? And people in like the high stakes gambling world, as an example, one of the things is he didn't send me accounting, right? And then he's like, oh, well, you had it in this one place from years ago. Like that's not, I've had, Plenty of people owe me money. Plenty of them still do. I've had times I owed people for stuff. When someone says, please send me the accounting or send me the accounting or stop yelling at me, send me the fucking accounting. Like any of these things, if you think someone owes you money, you send them the accounting, right? He had some cash out. I don't remember the exact terms. I remember I was like livid around the cash out and I just wanted nothing to do with staking him ever before, ever again, right? And when I asked him details around it, he still hasn't sent those. Like he one time told me, oh, it's not related. And I'm like, okay, like it, it was much different when he was saying, please cover this thing. Oh, you had half the deal, but the other half was a buddy of ours. I had a bunch of dealings with it. It was through, you know, no, there's an argument for me covering the other half. Instead of saying, please do this, oh, I'm in a bad spot. Oh, please don't, you know, give me a hard time. He owes 1.6 million to make up, right? Please don't give me a hard time on that. Instead of saying those things, right? He's saying like, ah, you're a piece of shit. Fuck you. And then like, it seems clear to me, he's going to be trying to paint a story with texts and shit. He wouldn't even send me our fucking texts. Finally, yesterday he did. Um, but that was only after someone else pressured him. So, so the other thing is, it's not like he fronted this money, right? A, 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 a well-known person in the poker world have fronted for those buy-ins, right? And that guy was here. That guy's like, oh, dude, I thought you had all Peter's deal. Oh, you only had half. Uh, I still fit out this amount, right? No, like, that's how when, it normally goes down. When yeah. Someone, no. Right? And so then I was like, okay, like, reasonable. And that guy, I'm happy to deal with. That's, like, no when problem, you, right? When yeah. you say that guy is here, do you mean they're in Jiju at the Triton? Yeah, yeah. We, we already talk twice or something you know and it like me and peter shit spilled onto that guy a bit much was that more because of peter more because of me whatever right like i don't you know and that person's being reasonable we're talking about staking and buy-ins from according to peter from the 2020 uh i think aussie millions down in australia the high rollers is that accurate is that what this is this centered about i i i think i'm not sure you know but but i didn't even know these details till 
a month ago or whatever, like three days before he tweeted, you know, he finally sent me accounting, right? And then he tries to say, like, oh, I gave Tom a hard time, so this is why he sent money. No, I fucking sent my half, whatever the balance was. I think it was actually like 33 or something. I sent 30 because I didn't want to fucking read through because he was sending me crazy messages because he finally sent me accounting, right? And it's like, it's way different if a buddy of mine that I know has no money and shit is saying, please help me out, please do this, as opposed to, fuck you, you're a piece of shit, I'm going to bend the truth, I'm going to, you know, like, obviously I'm not in the mood to do any favors for someone doing the second. Sure. So, so, so you sent him 30,000 after he sent you some receipts. He claims that you said you would pay the rest in Juju. Uh, and if not, that you would add 25 K on top and that he said no to that. I mean, is that accurate? No, I, there was a point I would say, I had said, I can send you the rest by Juju, Right. And meaning the other half that I think there's an argument that's a pretty strong one for me not being responsible for, right? This is like before I knew he was going, I think he's being a complete douchebag, like come back to me, right? And, but but in the past, every time something like this came up, he'd be like, sorry, I'm just stressed. Sorry, it's a problem with the 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 guy in front of him that money, right? That kind of stuff. Around then, when I had said that, I sent send me that guy's number. And he said, no. And so like, okay, obviously, you know, he's like, get it yourself. I'm just like, this is not a fucking credible. If you actually think someone owes you something, you don't do those kind of things, right? That's sure. just not, that's not how life works. Like, um, well, and, and then for example, I, I like part of that was me saying, send me the messages around the cash or send me what you have. Or it's always like, no, you know, some excuse, some, you know, like, it's not like he's saying, oh, I don't have some of these or I don't have what it's always some fucking story, right? Like that just doesn't it's clear there's an angle of like let me try to make tom look bad publicly for whatever fucking you know i don't know if he wants clicks or if he wants some upside out of it or if he wants what but like and and the reality is 1.6 in makeup like so so i think it was a 50 50 deal so that could be worth at max 800k right some kind of fair value is you know maybe a minimum probably a quarter to a third of that 800 but, but probably a little more and i think there was I'm not sure if it was Peter's deal, but there was a spot where we had uh, I actually forgot about this till I was ranting before to someone. Um, there was a spot we either did buy or were going to buy makeup. Um, and I think it was like one of the Greenwoods that that we were going to buy on Peter's deal or something. It was like to be nice to them and shit. But I think we were paying 20 percent, 30 percent, 25 percent, something like this. Right. Like, you know, so that of one point six million is more than the number he's barking about. Right. And he's trying to be like. Times a scumbag times that like it just doesn't hold water you know it's and, and it's way different if he's saying hey please cover that other half anyway i'm in a bad spot right which like every time we chat would basically be the story and then he would send me some grumpy shit and i'd be like dude like you know like that's the, that doesn't make me want to take the worst of it you know if he's saying so you pay, you sent him thirty thousand. Does he, uh, are you saying he's in makeup from your backing deal? So technically, you know, like maybe like why send 30,000 if you feel he's in makeup to you? No, when he finally sent me the figures, right? Sure. Remember this was a guy who was my friend for a long time. Right. I don't, I'm not in any interest to give the guy any, you know, any potential favors, anything like that now. Right. Before I sent that was, yeah, he was saying he was going to tweet stuff. Okay. Whatever. Right. I didn't assume he would be. Now it seems clear he's going to like post messages. And when he knows I don't have the chats and stuff, that's like much different, right? Like I didn't assume he'd be warping the truth. He went and did warp the truth and stuff. But so before that, me saying, okay, I'll send whatever this is, was uh, being like, fuck you. I'll give you like a favor. I I'm not trying to ask for it. I'm not trying to whatever. I'll give you my half and we can talk about the rest. And I said something like, but if you piss me off then we need to talk about something fair for the makeup, right? Because it was like he was like yelling at me. I was like, please just sure. stop. I was like, I'd rather you just not message, like, whatever. Like, I'll give you it by Juju and fuck off. Like, don't, you know, I'd rather have nothing to do with you, right? You, and it's me covering half that, like, there's some argument for me covering some of it or whatever. I, I You know, it's nowhere near direct kind of thing. Sure, right? but you met, you've and referenced... The, and planning to ask for none of the makeup. And then he did that, and I was like, okay, fuck you. We need to talk about something for, fair for the makeup. Please send me, like, uh, please please send me this guy's number and then he didn't send a number and yeah gotcha so, you've referenced didn't half. send the number never gave never gave the other fucking details never get and i just was like sorry i might vent a little because i'm tilted sorry <laughs> that's all right ahead, sorry uh, I, i'm gonna ask though you've referenced half several times so 
what's half? You did you send thirty thousand, and you, so you're saying that? No, half I'm saying I had half okay. of his deal direct. All right, right. So you want to say I owe you whatever I owe you whatever like. Even that's annoying as shit because it's like, where's the fucking accounting? Where, right. But then when I'm asking details, like I asked about the cash out, he still didn't explain that. Right. But, but fine. I was like, fine, here's my half. You, you want to talk about recovering the other half? You got to fucking give the details and shit. You can't just be like, oh, you could have had those. Oh, it's your fault. You have bad account. Like that's not, that's not how high stakes gambling works. If you think someone owes you something or if you're asking them to cover something and they're like, please send me the figures. You don't make up some story to try to make them look bad. You fucking send the figures, you know? So instead of this, uh, the, you know, the public Twitter spat, I know the word arbitration has come up several times. Is, is that an option? Why haven't you guys went down? No, that I said path? that to him. I said that to him and he said something like, no, we're going to see what the public thinks. Right. I, I said that to him and then he did that and he knew I didn't know my Twitter. So it's like extra fucking low blow, you know? And so, so yeah if he was still willing would you do arbitration i would have arbitrated just his issue and not asked for anything on makeup or whatever when i had said that initially right i think i might have asked for some fee or something because he had pissed me off on, on makeup but it, whatever i would have been super favorable now i would be like yeah we can add up all of them including like all the things he did not cool by me but like the guy that had given him that money when i brought that up right he was like kind of saying like well you know he doesn't have money right like do you, you know and i was like dude i'm not trying to fucking take any money from the guy if i if i know if it's like abundantly clear like why won't the guy it takes two clicks export chat right on whatsapp if it's abundantly clear the guy's going to do that kind of shit why would i do any fucking favors right like so before he had spazzed i was not trying to cause someone that had been my friend any issues i didn't really want to talk to him ever again but i was like fine i'll like honor the past friendship i won't try to you know put him in a hard spot or whatever now i, I feel much differently about that right sure. now now if we're gonna hash out basically what i feel like happened is there's one spot that I, i'm guessing that he can you know, he already has tried to paint it some, but I'm guessing he has other ways he thinks he can paint it to make it look like I did something slightly not perfect by him. And instead of saying, oh, hey, maybe there's a bunch of times he had done shit not great by me, you know, he, he's trying to paint it that way. So then if we're going to arbitrate, we can arbitrate those too, you know? Yeah, he did. So he did mention too, he wasn't really interested in arbitration unless you might be willing to escrow. And you know, just using the numbers that he said. No, the the guy that loaned him the money was fuck it. That's retarded. I mean, yeah, that's not. So that's, you say, that's retarded. You, that's you like would, not credible. You would, but uh, you know, if okay, so he's, no, I'm saying he's just trying to paint a picture. That's like not. Uh, that's not credible. Okay, like, but let me ask then. Two hundred twenty-six thousand is the number that he said. Said that you've paid him thirty. We're going to leave that at one hundred and ninety-six thousand. Would you be willing to escrow one hundred ninety six thousand? Take this to arbitration with somebody that you no, don't agree on? No, I gave that other guy. The other guy explained like, "Oh, I thought you had, you know, I thought you had it." And I gave him like, "I'm going to give that other guy. I don't want. I don't feel like that other guy meant weird. I'm going to give him the amount that that he was owed." I was like, "Look, I, my opinion, my preference is none of that should go to Peter. Whatever you do is yours, but then don't fucking whine to me, right?" And then at one point when it was like really clear Peter was doing the text shit, I was like, "Yeah, like we might need to." I can talk a little because because come on that's like a different level if 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 uh, yeah you, th th and, and that's I, a different level yeah and I just want to get this out there because people who are listening are no doubt going to ask why I'm not asking about who this other guy is now I do know who it is but out of respect from what we've talked about earlier I'm not going to say it and I yeah I'm that's not you don't I'm not going to put someone I, I, my intention isn't to put people in bad spots for no reason right and that's sure. part of why like sure whoever the fuck maybe try to claim some cloud or look honorable by saying why wouldn't you ask it? if i felt like you're gonna give me a hard time every last detail like that then i probably wouldn't be willing to do an interview right i'm not saying if one or two of those fine whatever but i don't see i would love if that guy talked publicly about this spot right but i i don't I, I, I'm trying to be, you know, uh, I, I, I'm not trying to to uh, cause other people problems in the sure. spot, right? The guy that had half of P 
Peter's deal. I'm not trying to cause a problem. I'm not the happiest because it was that guy that convinced me to keep sticky Peter, right? But but whatever. Like that's you know. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. So th- so that's why um, I'm not trying to. It's put it this way: it's easier for me if if. I just mention every detail of that, right? But that guy, I don't think he's done anything weird by me. Uh, him and Peter are still friendly. I, I'm really unhappy with Peter, but I respect how that guy has tried to be. So I'm trying to honor that. You know what I mean? No, I understand. And I, you know, I, I know it gets very complicated at the the highest levels of this game and the high stakes. Let's let, let me ask this then, because we've been talking about Peter Jetton. That did inspire one Haralibus Vulgaris well, to right, speak wait, up. So, so let's, I, the one thing I'll ask is let's try to not jump back and forth too much. Okay. So is that all right? Can we just try to see if there's any other Peter stuff for a second? I might need, I, I think I might have a thing or two to say. And then sure. No, absolutely. Because if we jump it back and forth too much, then I'm gonna actually like I, I'm already very tilted by by all of this, but no, I, I super tilted. We can absolutely um, do that. What what is it that you want to say about Peter? So basically the the to me it's not credible when someone's saying they feel like you know, he's trying to paint a picture, I own this, I own whatever, like then you you send details you send stuff like that right and as an example the guy at front of the pines i think has much more argument for that it's happy to meet me and jp was happy to talk things through like that's that's the normal way right and and i never had anything to do with that guy loaning peter the money peter dealt with it but he thought i was responsible for it so then when he said that i was like okay fine right that's the normal like that's normally how things happen at high stakes right it's not like and you if you want to go out there trying to paint a certain picture then i want a much more fair resolution <laughs> you know like it, it, I, I don't know that i've ever asked for a penny back from from you know usually if i was giving someone a deal it's because they're my friend right i was trying to help them, right so i don't think i've ever asked people to to give me something or figure out a fair deal or try to hold their makeup over for future shit but like yeah i, I feel different now right and not having that spill on to the guy give Peter the Bions, whatever, that's that's somewhat reasonable at least, right? Like, but but with Peter, I just I feel very different now. So and and also like yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Do you have any other Peter's? I'm not saying we can't go back to it, but I just no, no, I, too yeah, much no, I I'll, I'll tell I guess, like crazy. I guess uh the question for me then regarding Peter is what would you like to see the next step be? Uh, are you you know, is this no uh, I've 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 like it, it, that's not uh, to me, the, the, that ship's sailed. Like, I don't, he, he's not acting in good faith or reasonable. Like, that's very clear to me. Um, so it's not, uh, like, to me, it seems very clear he's going to share texts and stuff and try to paint some picture. He fucking sent me texts and leaves it up two years, including when the cash outs are and that kind of shit. Like, he, he it, it seems really clear that he's got whatever angle, right? I have my guesses, um, but yeah. In your mind right now, as we're talking, then, do you feel that you are square with Peter and you don't owe him anything? I mean, if we actually talk through fair, right, like I, he would owe me a bunch for the makeup's worth more than the amount he was complaining about. And I already talked with the other guy that had, right, because I don't want that guy screwed just because Peter's spazzing and stuff when that guy didn't try to be weird with me and shit. Like, so yeah i mean that that but uh it's not like i'm trying to you know has no fucking money and shit right i'm not trying to uh, at least i didn't intend to put him in any bad spot and shit right i i don't know how i feel now i need to like i feel very burned by someone i had helped for fucking 10 or 15 years so i i don't you know sure i, I don't know you know but yeah so it it sounds like if there is a like this issue like okay if you're going to say, yeah, I owe you this little bit, then, then, you know, then we got to talk about well, this it's not say, situation It's not too. like he said it. It's not like he said it to some mutual friend or said, hey, let's ask what a friend th- or something, right? You're going to fucking go lie on Twitter a bunch of times. You're going to say, oh, you front of this money. You did that. You did like, he's just fucking lying, lying or misleading so many of the details. It's like, fuck off. Like, sure. Yeah. I mean, and I and, would say, and, say to him, right. He's got the opportunity if. If he really does have the receipts, so to speak, then he could. No, take if them. he had the receipts, why wouldn't he have sent me? That's right. that's right. And it's like, why? Why, when I ask for things, 
oh, he has the receipts, but he wants to make me look bad. That's just not fucking credible, right? Like, and this was what was becoming clear to me lately was like, I asked for these kind of things. He doesn't send them. Then then he keeps trying to send a got, bunch of gotcha messages and stuff like I didn't really want to believe he was going to go down that path. But it, at this point, it seems very, very clear to me, right? He's already tried to spin a bunch of shit. I'm sure he's going to be trying to do that in the future. When I asked him chat history, he had a bunch of messages ready to go that he sent instead of chat history. I'm like, dude, like, you know, I lost the chat history. Like, this would be including our cash out. Like, there's no credible reason to not send that, right? And even that other guy is saying like, yeah, obviously there's no reason, you know, like, come on. <laughs> like, the, the yeah. There's obviously an agenda. So, anything else on Peter you want to touch on before I ask uh, about her all about? Well, yeah, I guess like the the I had said this uh, another thing, but basically like Jungle as an example, Jungle and I didn't really know each other when we did the challenge, right? That was through Full Tilt, so I don't, you know, uh, we definitely don't agree on every detail. Like we definitely both of us have said sorry for times or whatever, but like uh, you know uh like it's not like there was some expectation on that right to to be reasonable or whatever i mean i i think it's still we didn't always agree with how each other handled stuff definitely there was some stuff i didn't like that much that he did but for me that was a little easier to to accept right with peter like i really don't it's just kind of a joke you know he's trying to say i never helped him and shit like that like anyone that knows both of us it's a fucking joke you know what i mean and so it's, it's like it's safe to say it's a little more personal right you guys go back a long way i fucking bailed the dude out a bunch of times i helped him a bunch of times and shit like everyone and everyone around us knew that right it's like this is why i didn't even want to be given in the future deal and then he came and was like when he did the cash i think i was just like, i want to never deal with you again whatever you know like we could be friends we can have a beer like have a nice life right ever and then he was like pulling on heartstrings like please please i really needed this whatever and i was like okay fine whatever right and that's what this was too i was like okay fine i'll just say yes i won't give you a hard time fine but he he did a, did something a bit sneaky that like contributed you know probably a little maybe more a little to to me not collecting me like 1.8 1.9 million and uh, you know then in the meantime is trying to give me a hard time around this and it's just like this is not you know like yeah it, 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 in other words i expected you, you expect a different level of kind of behavior of someone you fucking like helped out a bunch of times sure. shit, right like like it, i don't think jungle ever you know i don't think he ever randomly post text or some shit like this and if he ever was he would be like well at least here's the chat history here's how i see it right like it, it's like extra upsetting when it's this kind of spot so You've re uh, referenced a, a cash out situation several times. What what is the cash out situation? So I forget the exact terms of our deal. I think he was supposed to leave a certain amount in the deal, but I I, I don't remember if we one hundred percent agreed to that or if it was like vaguely talked about or what. Um, I remember when he wanted to cash out and was like playing really big. I was like, okay, like I just don't want to deal with you. Like this is obviously selfish. I hadn't hadn't wanted to give him a deal initially and stuff. It was just it was a ridiculous spot. And the the buddy of mine that uh ha had the uh what was on the other half kind of thing uh had like convinced me to keep state computer right. And I, obviously like. I actually said this earlier today, you know, if I could go back and not have done that, but knowing that like, you know, Peter was basically a fake friend. Sure. I'd do that. Right. If I could go back and not have done that, but still not know Peter was a fake friend, I probably wouldn't. Have, right. Cause it, like, it was going to sting me at some point, you know? Um, so. For all of us vulgaris, he also. <laughs> so yeah. Bob's story. There were like, I said the number eight before. I don't know. Maybe it's six. Maybe I'd need to fucking read through, but then I'll get tilted again and not want to keep on going with an interview. But there were a bunch of either misrepresentations, lies, omissions in that thing. And it wasn't, if it's one or two, it can be like, okay, whatever. This is still a super douchey move, right? There were a bunch. And so, so Bob. Uh, best of my recollection i don't know now because we have no figure but uh 
just there real quick a, to, a, so for the listeners and the viewers just to set it real well, quick i'm, I'm gonna explain i'm gonna explain that i'm gonna explain well, yeah 300 so, his tweet was three hundred fifty thousand no, since 2010 is what he said okay go ahead sorry I, but i just wanted to, so there's a point of reference there i mean you could say it after like you know just because someone tweeted something doesn't fucking make it true right no like, i'm not saying that it is i'm just saying that is what he's tweeting and i that's what i want to get your okay. reaction to i guess or the story right. behind it from your perspective. Yeah, but I, I want to tell you the actual story and then sure. you can okay. counter with the street, you know? So so Go ahead. we were betting a phone account, right? Bob had, you know, he says in there, I convinced him, whatever. It, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty damn sure that it was him chasing me initially because he didn't, he was into the that same guy like two or three other ways, but he said something like he didn't trust those ways that much and that kind of stuff. And he trusted me more on, you know, uh, doing what I said, not betting it elsewhere, this kind of shit, right? And then he wanted to call for me and pretend to be me. And so that that's his only claim of like, then he later says the excuse for that was that, oh, he wanted to know that there was nothing funny going on, right? And I was always saying like, you can fucking listen to me when I call, I don't care. And he like never cared to because he didn't, I mean, he might've done that once or twice. I don't know. He wasn't actually doubting that. He just wanted to call himself, right? But I, I felt weird with that, right? Because the guy, the guy we were betting with knew me from poker and stuff. Um, Anyway, uh, there ended up being this, this case with a bunch of New York guys, and uh, I had a bunch of money held. And at that time, I owed Bob an amount. I don't know exactly, but I want to say like 1.1 or something, right? And from that phone account, there were like 98%, 95% of the bets were either Bob or this other group. The other group ended up having a case, right? And... I think it had 1.6 or 1.7. It might have been 1.5, something like that. But I think 1.6 or 1.7 held. I think I owe Bob a million or 1.1 at the time. And this was like a month after something. We stopped betting a few weeks after, right? And the other group I had lost with, Bob, I had one, right? And Bob ended up getting paid any of the money we had. And there's some other spot that he had said I should you know, pay for someone, right? That I should be on the hook for it. But, but he had some argument, right? But then he would try to cause me legal jeopardy for that. And my point to him was like, buddy, you can't saying, hey, please, this spot that you, you know, kind of had guaranteed and should should be on the hook for, or maybe should be on the hook for, or whatever, please, please pay it, is way different to like saying that in the next day trying to cause me a legal jeopardy spot, right? Like on that, in that point, I just don't really care. I'm like, fuck you. I don't care. I should be on the hook for it. Like, whatever this was not me and his dealings it's a completely unrelated spot like that's and then he was trying to, to work the story around that a bunch and it pissed me off a lot right and it happens that that those cases were more than 10 years ago so like before i would have been a little nervous to talk about this stuff because it's like a bunch of people got shit when they hadn't done anything wrong right like legally i hadn't done anything wrong i still got fucking money held right and so i like while there was any chance of that shit reopening bob knew i wasn't you know, it was like a, a soft spot and he kept pushing on it. And my point to him was like, if you want to talk fairly and say, you think I should be on the hook for this 350, you know, I, I wasn't even saying no. I like, I think there's a really strong argument for me not owing it or a very small piece at most. Right. But I was like, all right, whatever. If you want to talk fair about that, fine. If you do that and then the, the next day you try to push me some legal way and say, I must pay and try to, you know, he also, there was a, a poker spot I had. A piece of someone made it like a few million bucks and bob's now in that spot and has made tens of millions right and he was using this there i'm like you try to do that kind of shit then i don't really care to honor this even if there's an argument i should honor a piece of it or whatever like fuck off right it's just like you know he's trying to cross a bunch of lines and then say hey this this one spot maybe arguably you should owe a few pennies more or whatever like it's it's ridiculous in my opinion i don't know but. has there been any development with uh Herolibus? have you guys chatted yeah, we called and yelled at each other for 40 minutes. And then he, uh, <laughs> he is a funny guy. He, uh, he messaged me. He's like, I'm on a helicopter. Hope I don't die. That was the last combo I had before I die. Fuck. <laughs> Something like that. I was like, good luck. Hope you make it. But, um, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the thing I said, you know, I, I was kind of trying to show him why, like, it's not nice to push in those kind of ways. If I had actually wanted to cause him a problem, I could have done that a lot different. And we that was one of the things we talked about on the phone. I think he realized that, right? And, you know, he had said, he has his reasons for why, but he had 
you know, not been that straight with me and he thought it was justified because of there were other stories or thought he had to or whatever. I don't I don't think he really believes that, but like that's his excuse for it. I'm like, okay, but realize that then that doesn't make me want to say, oh, there's this spot. I was out a bunch of money for other shit. And you're saying maybe I should owe a little extra. Please can I? And you're like, oh, here's my excuse for why I was an asshole to you so many times. Like, you know, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, it, it, like we said, this uh, his tweet he was referencing three hundred fifty thousand from two thousand ten. No, he tries to make it seem like I owe it to him from bets we did. We we have zero figure that's completely clear. Like there was always this thing on the side that that I was like, we you know we could talk about that, we could whatever, and then he would try to squeeze right, and it like so he knows that he's not telling the truth when he's misrepresenting like that. There was me and him have been square for years and years and years, right? Like there's no. Yeah. He, do you think, he knows that even because sorry, go ahead. Do you think he just brought it up because of the Peter Jetton stuff? And he's like, oh, here, let me just chime in with this right now. Or has he been after you, pestering you for it for you know the last No, obviously. Years? That's what pissed me off. It's not like it's not like it, it's way different if this is kind of thing has happened a few times with Bob. And I'm like, yo, like you have my number. If you want to call and say you think I'm handling it wrong, fine. But my response is gonna be every time we talk reasonable, you do something scummy or shady, I don't trust you you know right after and then he's like oh well here's why i did that and i'm like well okay but you know it doesn't mean it, it, it's like it, if we bet on that spot with some reasonable people i mean i, I would be surprised if you know he's even getting a third of that kind of thing or something like that right of the 350 like and i i had said to him a bunch of times like fine i can and then he'd do some random shit the next day right or like million dollar game we talked about it then right towards the end of the game Doug said there was some like PR shit Bob had had him do, right? And then I'm like, Bob, like, you know, what the fuck is this, right? And then he tries to bring up sports shit that he knows is like a little sensitive, like. And so if he had texted me and said, hey, can we chat about this some? Fine. If he had tweeted something a little more true, fine, right? I probably still would have been like, really? Like, douchey move, but whatever. Fine, right? Like, but yeah, that's not what he's been doing. So. I mean, I know you just said you talk to him you guys yelled at each other for for 40 minutes but then had some good laughs like are you in Heraldus no, friends are you friendly laughs. no like no, you just had not... some good laughs about his joke about the the helicopter and such well yeah i mean i don't want to gotta fucking die in a helicopter obviously like um but like are you friends are you in Heraldus friends would you consider yourself well, no no i mean I, I i even actually said this to him i was like you know because he was trying to like misconstrue it of I, I thought we had been a little friendly right and this was like why he and and i had when when he was initially betting it was because he trusted me more but then there was a time i like that other group was losing he was winning and i felt like there was a time he was like trying to be a little bit nice right right around that and that was part of why i was trying to you know i like like that money i'd see i had to pay a small amount of it like 10 or 12 percent or something um to get it back and like you know uh there was actually during during paul's hits that that happened and i like hadn't wanted to give up any of it and then my lawyer like yelled at me like there's another thing going on just do it whatever i you know i think bob could have made a claim that he he had to wait a little long because of that maybe that was unfair by him i think i could have made a claim that he should pay some of that i was like whatever like we can always we could always talk about that kind of shit um but i i, I felt like he approached that a bit unfair right and and i had tried to kind of honor uh we had been at least somewhat amicable we weren't like friends or whatever but like somewhat amicable and he, he then he like now when he talks about it he says to it oh you might have not even been putting in the bets and shit and it's like he just i mean that's not true like there's he was never fucking doubting anything like that that's why he wanted like yeah it just and then you know he also i remember like to, to try to get in that poker spot and other stuff maybe just because he likes causing shit or whatever he would say he, he said to a bunch of people oh yeah yeah the bank story supposedly yeah i don't think that's even true and i'd be like bob we can fucking drive to the bank there was like a few times this came up where we're playing some poker game and i was like i will lay you 10 to 1 we can drive to the bank we can bet no dollars we can bet whatever amount of dollars it's like a five minute drive like fuck off like you can't you know what I mean? There's there's a ton of paperwork around this. <laughs> like you can't just like try to use that to cause me a problem and then say, please cover this other spot. <laughs> like that's yeah. But uh -huh. but so I think that's what 
you know, and I'm guess I think he probably knew me and Peter were friends. Um, and so it just really like, it, to me, it's like low blow, right? Yeah. And it's just like it, you're trying, you know, it, it, like it, you know, if he texts me, "Hey, I saw this Peter thing. I still think you should cover that 350. Can we chat about it? Do you want whatever?" Like, sure. I was always happy to chat about that kind of stuff. He sends that kind of shit. I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about, dude?" Like, yeah. Uh, let me ask this on a more lighthearted note too. Um, you know, you have Peter saying his thing, Heralibus, uh, and Jungle Man got involved a little bit on, online. He's actually, you know, more defending you in a lot of regards. And he tweeted something that I thought was kind of funny and interesting. He said, uh, in regards to you, Tom, uh, he said, and I quote, I've found him nearly fucking impossible to deal with. Apparently this isn't an angle shoot. <laughs> That's mutual. Though. That's mutual, actually. <laughs> we both didn't know the easiest time dealing with each other. But, but, Sorry, go ahead. You can say us. Uh, I, I mean, I, 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 you know, I've interviewed Jungle Man. I, I certainly can uh, get both sides of that. But I mean, is this, is there a possibility that some of this is a, a Tom Duan thing? And just in terms of, I mean, keeping track I'm of the saying, records, keeping okay, track hey, of the situation. So I'm not saying I'm perfect. Haven't done shit wrong. Like the guy that had the piece of Peter that thought I had all of it or whatever, right? Like I'm happy to have those kind of chats if I've messed up some spot or whatever. Like that went pretty easy and that guy had way more reason to be grumpy right like jungle for example yeah i think we could both complain about each other in this spot jungle man's about being about a hundred times more reasonable than bob or peter right and i you know if jungle man's the voice of reason i think that kind of shows like um you know i, I don't think either of their intentions was good right and and jungle i think there's definitely been times both of us didn't handle something well by each other, but we've been able to like talk about those. And like in hindsight, I don't think, you know, yeah, there's some stuff he did. I didn't really like, uh, I can at least see a little bit why and stuff. Right. I, I doubt I ever come to respect why even Bob did his, but definitely Peter. It's like, I'm never gonna, you know, like that, that come on. <laughs> like that was some fucking scummy shit. Like, yeah. So where does this go from here? I know, you know, you've obviously chatted with me. I know you done, uh, have done some other interviews. Do you think this is something that's going to drag on? Or are you hoping this is well, the so end? Well, so I like it? tweeted some and then I a few times like kind of gave in and spaz tweeted. And then I realized like I think Peter's kind of fucking enjoying that, right? And so I, it's different with Bob, right? I, I'm not saying I could never talk about it. Some of Bob or tweeted him or whatever, but like I think Peter was kind of liking that, right? Or whatever the fuck is sending messages with Peter was liking that. And, uh, you know, so I didn't really want to partake in that um when i realized it at a certain point and uh yeah so i don't know i mean that one i feel like really burned i i have no fucking idea um but if bob wanted to hit me up a week ago a month ago whatever he could have you know i i like uh yeah i don't know but i i think i'll do uh, jungle and i'll probably do a chat or two like video type thing like this where it's both of us in it but where we give each other shit, but it's in a like, okay, fine. I think you're wrong. I think that was a little unfair, but whatever, you know, like, uh, uh, I don't know how to explain that. Like, I don't feel like jungle. I, I think he was a lot more reasonable. Right. And I, I think uh, both of these people didn't, didn't mean well. Um, and I think the poker world, a lot of times people like to try to paint the image or pretend they have integrity um i think that's actually a lot of times the sites do that the the if you remember that was the first time i gave you shit right i thought you were like going for clicks and you know in hindsight i think i was wrong right um but i think a lot of times people are really optic driven in the poker world and i think that's really bad in the long term especially with like a lot of the tools out and stuff now so um yeah, I, I obviously I wish this stuff hadn't really happened, but since it did, I'm just gonna be like, uh, you know, I think the realities are fucking should face issues when they come up, not just try to fucking pretend to be like some voice of you, you know, basically people tw chirping like the guy fucking chirping on Twitter and stuff. I I don't respect that, right? I don't. I, I think a lot of the people doing that actually have, have very bad agendas right it's to try to look honest so they can do whatever the fuck other shenanigans um and when i say i think like i have my reasons to think that for most of those people um so yeah i mean you just use words like integrity and honest do, do you consider yourself those i'm not saying you're not i'm asking you you know do you in your your view of yourself yeah i don't think i'm perfect but i think i'm pretty 
willing to face that kind of thing, right? If if I if I've messed up some spot, I'm usually willing to to own it. I'm I'm not always going to get it perfect every minute or whatever. Um, but yeah, and, and I think uh, you know, I think it's not good whenever when people are trying to cause a bunch of shit so that they like look good or whatever. I think. I think all that kind of stuff and a bit like FDX did a lot of that shit as an example, right? They tried to look like the, the voice of integrity. No one ever say anything bad about that, you know? So, so I think anyone trying to say they're perfect, especially in the poker world, I think it should spook you. Right. And, um, you know, uh, I generally try to set it up where people don't need to trust me that much. And then if some spot comes up, sure, I'll try to, I'm not trying to say I'm perfect. I'll do everything perfect all the time, but like, I'll try to try to be a decent human or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. You were certainly kind in, in taking the time to go a little deep diver, more deep dive ish, if you will, with me here. Is there anything else that you feel we uh, should touch yeah, on that we missed? There's, there's one thing I want to touch on. I don't know if we did it the other interview or not, but like, you know, I think cheating in poker is a pretty big issue nowadays um in live games and stuff like that i think a lot of the bot stuff online is a pretty big issue and um that's why it's a somewhat sensitive thing for me when people larp about a bunch of integrity stuff right i think whether they realize it or not those things can be a little more connected than the average twitter person that doesn't know much poker realizes and follows it a little bit and plays a little bit or whatever um and to me you know I, I i i hope this stuff wasn't that linked to me joining acr i don't think it was maybe bob or peter knew something i don't know um but like for example one of the things i really like about them that i was telling you the other interview is they try to face shit right i like that about triton that if any little thing comes up we just like talk about it we don't try to sweep it away right like um and i think it, you know, I wish that it happened more in poker the last five or 10 years, but I think it's extra, extra important now and going forward with so much of the technology that's out both for live games, but especially RTA stuff and all online. Um, yeah. And so the people fucking LARPing as if they're perfect and their integrity is a hundred point zero 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 percent perfect and whatever for fucking clicks or whatever. Yeah. That, it's an extra sore spot for me. So um, real quick with ACR, cause we did talk about it a little bit, but just for the sake of this interview, the timing on that, I know there are a lot of people who are thinking, Oh, it's, he's just doing the sponsorship right now to, you know, get some money no, to we pay had off these things. Five, we had a handshake right. five months ago or some shit. Like, yeah. 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 And you did mention that, uh, in the last interview. So, uh, and you know, you did, did just mention bots and I'd be remiss of, you know, your new, the new company you are now representing just made headlines not long ago for, for that very thing. Is that something you're going to be aware of and trying to, you know, combat and, and keep an eye on during your time there? Uh, I mean, I don't know that I'm the guy for that. I don't really play. I think they're mostly at the smaller stakes now. Um, I think, in my experience from what i've seen they're trying to to face that stuff and that's something i respect and you know so so one story about them is there's like a a few things that i think will be included in most poker games in five or ten years that i've told probably every principal at the bigger poker organizations or just about every principal and phil was the only one to really pay attention to that right and that's me like i have quite a bit of influence in poker and even me it's been like five years i wasn't able to get that you know through and it's um maybe over a beer sometime or whatever i can tell you tell you a little more i don't want to like cast shit publicly on people but you know basically i think a lot of the organizations in poker don't really they care much more about looking like they have integrity than actually having integrity right and i i think people out there are fucking LARPing about that shit or whatever. Like, you, you know, when we did this interview, my only condition was if you edit it, please send me the interview. Right. Like I'm doing, doing with Joe, you're going to be like similar type thing with Nick and Veronica, same type thing. Right. It's like, you know, sure. Obviously if I really felt like you were going to, you were going to try to gotcha me, then maybe I'd want to know the questions for a very set time or some shit like that. Like, um, yeah. 
no, and and you're right. That's that was your only only ask of me, and uh, you know, I said absolutely because we have not you know nothing to hide, and I don't uh, anticipate we're going to be editing much, if anything. So, um, you know, I, I think transparency is best, and you know, you've answered the questions that that I've had that I've tried to ask, um, sometimes in roundabout ways because you know. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, you know, I think I'd be illustrated if I was a little pissed off about it, or a little less pissed off about it. Like, <laughs> I'm very pissed about both of those spots. <laughs> but <laughs> my bad. <laughs> well, Tom, uh, if there's nothing else, you know, I'll let you go. I know uh, you've got a full day there in Jeju and in, in Vegas here. It's getting quite late. But, um, you know, I appreciate you opening up about this. That's not an easy thing for people to do, especially when it comes to the high stakes world. Uh, you know, I've been in this industry a long time and it's not often that we get people who will kind of shed a, a little light on what's going up at the highest stakes like this. So, and even though this is, you know, more negative than positive per se, you know, I, I certainly appreciate you taking the time to, to chat with me and the listeners and the viewers.